Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. The Detox Live will begin shortly. For those of you who are joining us via Zoom, please make sure to turn off your microphones during the lecture. Thank you. So please stay with us until the end of the program and do not forget to submit your MOFA questionnaire on today's Detox Live right after the session. And last September, Professor Sao was elected as a member of the UN Human Rights Committee, Tang Rok Sao. So people, these technologies are already here in, with us, but did, we didn't use it. But because of this pandemic, we suddenly became to use other technologies. As introduced, I will speak about the impact of new digital technologies of fourth industrial revolution on the human rights. The pre-corona era, but this is not just because uh, this virus itself, but I, I think it is, will be divided because of teachers in the center. Well, everybody can watch what the teachers are doing with the CCTV. Next question is from Pavitra from India, participating from the city of Bangalore. Okay, I don't know if it is answered enough, but... Uh, mm -hmm. answer Anyways, so thank, thank you. you uh, thank you to you, Pavitra, for, for asking the question and joining us all the way from, uh, from India. Everyone, thank you once more. Stay healthy and see you next year. Bye-bye. I think everybody in this pandemic is suffering. Um, you know, students cannot go to school and the business owners having a lot of uh, difficulties in their business. But those who have infected by a virus and families who lost their families because of this virus are most serious victims. But it seems to me everybody is concerned with their own difficulties, not paying attention to the serious victims. I think uh, as a human rights person, I think human dignity uh, for everyone is very important. So I think one thing you can learn from this pandemic is we have to live together. So we have to be concerned with the victims of the pandemic and paying more attention to them from human rights perspective. That's what I feel.